Hey guys, hope you are doing great. The most requested video on how to optimize your PC slash laptop to increase FPS and to fix frame drops is finally here. I have planned to make this video in parts. Basic slash primary stuff will be covered in this video. Part 2 will have some advanced methods. Stick till the end of the video for additional tips. This is in general for all games slash applications. If you are a Fortnite gamer, I have made a separate video on that. No further talking, let's hop in. First of all, create a restore point just in case if anything goes wrong. Type restore point in the search bar and select create. Type in a description that you could remember. Click on create. That's it, your restore point is created. Now if you want to restore to this point later if anything goes wrong, click on system restore and select the description you created in the last step. And Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Now first right click on the taskbar and choose task manager. Navigate to the startup tab and disable most of the non-required applications. Enable only the most required apps during startup. To disable an application, right click on the application and choose disable. Secondly, navigate to the Processes tab and make sure to end unwanted tasks, leaving only the required services to run. You can sort by clicking on the CPU or Memory tab to find the CPU intense application running in the background currently. Next, right click in the desktop and choose Display Settings and select Advanced Display Setting. Tap on Display Adapter Properties. Move to the monitor, monitor tab and make sure your screen's higher refresh rate is selected from the drop down. Back in the display settings, tap on graphic settings. Click on browse and navigate to your games directory and add the .exe of your game. Here I am taking Fortnite as an example. Select the game and tap on options and select high performance. This will ensure that your game run with the dedicated graphic card rather than the integrated Intel's graphic. Back in system settings, select notifications and ensure that all the notifications are turned off. Same for focus assist, keep it off. We will come to the battery settings later. Tap home and move to the main settings window and select gaming. Make sure to disable game bar and all sorts of recording slash captures as this will drastically consume power and lower your in-game FPS. Enable the game mode. When you are in a game, game mode prevents windows update from performing driver installations and sending restart notifications. This also helps in achieving a more stable frame rate depending on the specific game. Now let's move to the battery options. Right click and choose power options and select the ultimate power plan for maximum performance. If you can't see the ultimate performance mode, do the following steps. Type terminal in the search bar. Open command prompt. and execute the following command. You can find the command in the description. Once it is done, go to the battery power plan and select ultimate performance. And make sure process power management is at max. Even if you couldn't find the ultimate performance mode, change these processor settings to 100 by creating a new plan manually. Now into the NVIDIA settings, 
in the 3D settings panel, if you don't want to customize anything, choose Use My Preference Emphasizing and drag the slider to Performance. But I would recommend selecting Use Advanced 3D Image Settings. In the Manage 3D Settings, pass the video on Copy My Settings as it is. This will be the default for all applications. For a specific program, in the program settings, click on add and select your application. If your application is not found, click browse and select the exe file by navigating to the game directory. Changing the settings here will override the global settings. Select High Performance NVIDIA Processor from the drop down and leave others as it is. Make sure to keep your drivers updated. Open NVIDIA GeForce Experience and check for updates and install the latest version if available. Here is the additional tip, to fix FPS drops and to increase FPS, right click on the game application and select properties. And then in the compatibility tab, check disable full screen optimizations. If you got the SSD, try installing the game in the SSD rather than the hard disk. Also if you have fast internet and if you can re-download the whole game, prefer uninstalling the game and installing it completely. This will ensure that the unwanted cadges will be deleted. All these steps can be used for all games slash applications. This is the first time I am doing voiceover, so please bear with it. That's it for this video. Part 2 with the advanced method will be released shortly, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. If this video helped you, share it with your friends and click that like button. That really motivates me to do more videos. Make sure to check out my other videos.